Hi, I'm Brad Staggs for RealOutdoorLiving.com. It's that time of year. Obviously, everybody's getting outside and enjoying the weather, finally. We've got a great brand new series on the website. It's called Destination Deck. If you are into outdoors, as you should be this time of year especially, uh, if, you're, if you're looking for a project that will actually add some real value to your home, and in the past I would have said, hey, concentrate on kitchens and baths because those are going to give you the best return on investment. Recent studies have found that adding a deck onto your house can actually return up to 85% of your investment. That's a pretty significant number, considering you really do get some, uh, some real good use most of the year from, from, a, uh, from a deck. That's what Destination Deck is all about. This is a series of decks that we've had professionally designed by Sean Miller. Uh, he's also the president of the North American Deck Railing Association, and these are fabulous plans. Everything from very simple, very zen, if you will, uh, designs to very complex designs. And the thing about these decks, uh, number one, you can download the deck plans absolutely free, along with the materials list, so you know what to buy. And second, if you want to have these customized to your home, uh, we have that service available on the website as well. All the details are right there, so check that out as well. Again, building a deck is one of the best ways to obviously get more enjoyment from your home and, again, increase the value. Now, when you're building the deck, whether you're doing it yourself or having a contractor do it for you, look into real wood. Now, here's a couple reasons why. Number one, using real wood, first of all, you have to use it in a substructure. I mean, that's, that's codes. My, my thought has always been if it's strong enough to support your deck, it's strong enough to be the deck. The advantage it has over some other materials, first of all, wood is very simple to work with. It's a very environmentally conscious choice. And it is also one of the most, well, you can actually customize it to your own home, whether it's in color or style, however you want to look at it. If you want to pull a color from your home's exterior and stain the uh, wood that color, that's great. If you want to paint it, that's great too. Uh, you can leave it natural, let it, uh, let it weather under the, under the sun. Make sure that you maintain it though, that's key. Make sure that you, at once a year, look over that deck, Make sure that all the fasteners are secure. If they're not, use a hammer to nail them, uh, to pound them back in, or use a screw gun, obviously, to drive those screws back in. Also, if it uh, needs a good washing, if you have some uh, dirty areas, just a standard so uh, soap and water, a little scrub brush will do the trick there. And finally, make sure that it, it's also, it's got that waterproofing on it. And a very simple test for that, take a handful of water, sprinkle it on the deck boards. If it soaks right in, that means it's time to reapply a water repellent with a good UV protectant in it. Now, the thing about it, oh, if it beads up, don't worry about it, you're good to go. The thing about it is, uh, beware anytime you see any material say it's maintenance free, because there really is no such thing. Every material out there needs to have some maintenance. If you build anything outdoors, you're going to have to maintain it, at least give it a once over every year. Speaking of other great outdoor projects, on the website we have podcasts that are Perfect for you and the family to uh, really get into the workshop and sink your teeth into these. Uh, a picnic table, it's a great simple design. Uh, there's a potting table as well. A great porch swing uh, that you're going to love. And a garden bench that has just become hugely popular. Thousands and thousands of people watching this video and also uh, getting out there and building the project themselves. And the great thing about it is it gives you a chance to work with your hands, get the kids involved, show them. You know, you, if, you learn, if you know how to use tools, show your kids how to do it. Pass the skill down. We need, again, to become that nation of people who, who work with our hands and build things. And, and at the same time, you get to enjoy the real great outdoors at realoutdoorliving.com.